So I know you've heard of trans fats or hydrated fats, but could you actually tell me where they were found and how they were made? Well, most of the trans fats in the foods we eat is formed through the manufacturing process that adds hydrogen to vegetable oil. This converts the liquid into a solid fat at room temperature. This process is called hydrogenation. Partially hydrogenated oils are the major source of artificial trans fats in the food supply. They are the most often used source of fat in commercially baked goods because they don't spoil as quickly as other fats and have a longer shelf life. The product that gets more solid the higher the trans fat it contains. Some examples of where you would find these trans fats in food include baked goods like cookies, cakes, pies and crackers, some snack foods like potato chips and microwave popcorn, fried food typically found in fast food restaurants such as french fries, fried chicken and anything battered, refrigerated donut products such as biscuits, cinnamon rolls and even frozen pizzas vegetable shortening and also sticks of margarine. But why do we give it so much grief? It's because of the effects it has on the body. It affects both the good and the bad cholesterol. Bad cholesterol, known as low-density lipoproteins, are transport the cholesterol throughout the body. As cholesterol builds up in the walls of the body's arteries, the arteries become narrower. This leads to increased risk of heart attack and stroke trans fats actually increases this bad cholesterol within our body. How about the good cholesterol, also known as high density lipoprotein? This helps the excess cholesterol and transports it back to the body's liver for processing. But consuming trans fats actually lowers the body's HDL levels. So research has actually shown that consuming an excess of trans fats raises the risk of high blood lipids, heart disease, type 2 diabetes and many other illnesses. But now consumers will no longer worry if this toxic fat may be hiding in their foods because finally trans fats in processed foods are no longer generally recognized as safe for use in human food. And this is according to a US Food and Drug Administration decision announced June 16th this year. Companies will have three years to remove these oils from their products. The ruling does not affect trans foods that occurs naturally in dairy foods and meat from ruminant animals, which is not considered as much of a health concern. So it estimated that actually eliminating industrial trans fats from the US food supply could prevent up to one in five heart attacks and related deaths. That would mean a quarter of a million few heart attacks and related deaths each year in the United States alone. A fantastic victory for public health who are still fighting to reduce refined starch, sugar, salt and red meat and increase fruits, vegetables and whole grains. So let's get us all there by 2020.